people do develop tolerance to, uh, to stimulants, just like they do to any other addictive substance, which means if they take them uh, over days to weeks to months to years, eventually they will stop working and they'll need more and more to get the same effect. Likewise, once they get to that point where there's tolerance and physical dependence, if they stop them, they will experience withdrawal. Withdrawal from stimulants is mostly characterized by sedation, sleepiness, but also profound depression. Of all of the drugs uh, and drug use disorders that I treat, uh, the patients who classically get profoundly depressed and stay depressed for a sustained period is patients who have been taking stimulants. Um, so, so that's a very serious concern when we're treating this. Again, I have to emphasize that many psychiatrists are under the mistaken belief that as long as they're prescribing stimulants to a kid who has ADHD, the kid can't get addicted. I can't tell you how many patients I see on a regular basis in my clinic who are crushing and snorting and crushing and injecting stimulants like Vyvanse, like Adderall, uh, who got started on it by a hopefully well-intentioned prescriber who was treating them for uh, ADHD. So this is a a not uncommon uh, trajectory for folks to start with a prescription, start with the diagnosis of ADHD, get a prescription, and then eventually uh, progress to misusing and uh, abusing and being addicted to uh, that prescription drug. Mm-hmm.